I know, right? My first sketch of the year, and this is what I want to talk about. I'm not gonna lie, readers. I did my best not to have to make a video on this topic. Not only did it seem a bit opportunistic for me, but I didn't want to seem that much of a Debbie Downer because of everything surrounding it. But with more and more companies shutting down, both willingly and by law, in order to make sure as many people as possible stick to the current health and safety standards, social distancing and quarantine isolation is being heavily implied in order to get things back to normal as soon as possible. You know, if we can help it, not everyone's job allows them the privilege to be able to work from home. Personally, as an introvert, the idea of willingly isolating myself from other people isn't a new practice for me. <laughs> so listen, I'm having a bit of a mixer this afternoon. Wanna come? Um, I, uh, I might have a thing already. Let me check my planner. Yeah, I just have a lot going on. But for others that semi require human interaction or just need to get out of the house to keep from going stir crazy, I can understand how this can be a bit difficult. So regardless of if you're being mandated or if you have the ability to take the initiative to do social distancing and quarantine isolation, there are definitely takeaways from being in this situation. And one of the best ones is that it gives you the opportunity to cut yourself off from toxic relationships. Hello? Where have you been? I've been trying to call you for days. Oh, I know. I... You know? Yeah. A and, and you never thought about answering your phone? Nope. Well, what if something would have happened to me? Did something happen to you? Th 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 that's, that's beside the point. Are you gonna let me in or what? Oh, no. What do you What do you mean, no? You can't just leave me out here with the Chinese Bye, virus. Hawks. Of course, not every relationship is toxic, and there are people that you actually want to be around, but you can't because of the situation. For example, I play Dungeons & Dragons with a group of good friends of mine every other Friday night. They come up and meet at my house, and we play for a good four hours or so. Because of the current health and safety threats, one of my good friends doesn't necessarily feel comfortable enough to physically hang out and play, despite our group consisting of less than 10 people. So we're going to give playing online a shot. The experience I have with playing D&D online via chat is a bit minimal, and I know it will be a bit of a learning curve for some of the others since we're not using any online tabletop supplements. But at the end of the day, we'll be playing together like we always do. But if hanging with yourself is more your speed, there are plenty of options. You can read, you can try out some new hobbies, get some stuff started you always planned on starting, and of course, television shows and movies on different streaming services are no exceptions. Another example, due to the combination of me thinking it was absolutely unnecessary and a genuine lack of interest, I had no intention on catching Toy Story 4 and Frozen 2 respectively during their theatrical runs. Because I paid for a year of Disney Plus in January of 2020, I said to myself that the only way I'll catch either of them is if they become available to stream on the service. So you can only guess what I'll be doing now that Frozen 2 landed on Disney Plus three months early. Okay. I get it. Trust me when I say, readers, that there are multiple ways to deal with social distancing and quarantine isolation, whether you're being forced to or you have the choice to. But I can't tell you how to live your life at the end of the day. The only thing I suggest is that you use caution, stay safe, and only go outside if absolutely necessary.
just take it. Thank you. All right. Laundry time. So with that being said, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below how you usually deal with social distancing and the like. Do you have anything to add to what I've suggested? I'd love to know your thoughts. If you want to help financially support the channel, you can join my Patreon by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below, where you can also find a link to my merchandise store. Or if you prefer to give a one-time donation, you can find links to my PayPal and my coffee account in the description box as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.